Snake. 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 You need to grab it. Is that venomous? It is. It yeah. is venomous. Watch it. Watch it. Use the snake. Hook. Wow. That looks just like a garson. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. No matter what location we visit, the Brave Wilderness team always seems to have success locating its native snake species. This is partially due to the fact that our wildlife biologist, Mario Aldecoa, has had a lifelong fascination with these often feared reptiles. The island country of Japan was to be no exception, and today we are exploring a remote stretch of wilderness that has already produced one of the most common and friendly species, the four-lined rat snake. Snake, snake, snake. Mario, what is that? That's a rat snake, right? Rat snake. Got its tail, got its tail. Got it. That is the four-lined rat snake, one of the coolest constrictor species here in Japan, and actually one of the largest snakes that you'll find anywhere here in Japan. In the hours previous, consistent rain showers had moved through, saturating the landscape and bringing this mountainous environment to life. This forest is ancient. Oh no, here comes the rain again. I thought we were out of it. Oh, it is relentless. And the thing about rain like this is, if you're looking for reptiles, they're likely hunkered down. If you're looking for amphibians, it can be perfect. Now, there are newts in this area. There are also giant Japanese toads. And either of those species would make a great episode. And it's just a matter of finding one of those specimens. All right, keep going. As we continued onward, we eventually found ourselves in a series of grassy thickets, which we knew would be perfect for snake activity. And sure enough, it was Mario that made the next slithering discovery. Ooh, guys, snake. Snake. What kind is that? Ooh. Is that a keelback? Oh, dude, this is this is a keelback. You need to grab it. Yeah, yeah, is that yeah, venomous? It is. It yeah. is venomous. Watch it. Watch it. Use the snake hook. Wow. That looks just like a garsick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. That's a tiger keelback. Gosh, Sean. Yes, dude. Good spotting. Wow. I would have probably grabbed that and thought it was a garter snake. It looks just like one. Hold on. Let me see if we can get it to stay completely calm. Whoa. Okay. All right, hold on. I'm going to just try to very gently handle the snake. It's staying very calm. Here we go. Oh. There we go. I handle the snake really gently. They're not very strikey. Okay, wow. So what would happen if the snake bit you? Um, it would really have to latch on and bite down to get that venom into me. So I'm not real, real worried about that. And what I don't want to do though, is actually head this snake because what's very unique about this species is not only is it venomous, it's also poisonous. They have two glands right on the back of their neck. And what they'll do sometimes if they feel threatened is puff themselves up and these glands will actually eject poison. Now if something comes in and tries to bite down on this snake, and gets any of that poison in its mouth, it has a very awful taste. So similar to a dart frog, dart frogs get their poison from the small ants that they eat. This snake gets its poison from the toads that it eats. Now that name, tiger keeled back snake, comes from the fact that they have keeled scales running along the length of their body. And when the snake breathes, you can actually see the black stripes and the orange coloration. As we know, that bright coloration is aposematic, warning any potential predator that I am toxic. And in this case, both venomous and poisonous. Whoa, that is a cool looking snake. Now, if you didn't know any better, you look at that snake's face, it looks just like the face of a garter snake, which is a completely harmless species, but there are no garter snakes in Japan. I am free handling this snake at this point. I'm trying to be very gentle with it and very calm. You're probably saying to yourself, Coyote, you're free handling a venomous snake. But like I said, these snakes are not very bitey and they're rear fanged, fixed rear fangs. So for this to actually inject venom into me, it would have to latch onto my finger and chew, almost the way that a Gila monster chews on its prey to get that venom to work into its victim. 
Okay, quick question. Yeah. So what would happen if you were bitten by that snake? That's a great question. It is a hemotoxic venom, very similar to the venom of a boom sling. What that will actually do is get into your system and it will begin to hemorrhage you, right? So that means you'll be bleeding internally. So it is a very, very bad bite. One of the most venomous snakes that they have here in Japan. Now, anti-venom is available for this snake bite, but it's very hard to come by because people are hardly ever bitten by this snake species. So, as long as I am very gentle holding the snake, I should be just fine. Guys, as I often tell you, never try to handle snakes. It's always important to properly identify them first. Never, ever, ever try to handle a venomous snake the way that I am right here. Such an unassuming looking snake, so calm, so docile, yet it is one of the most toxic snakes here in Japan. This was pretty awesome, finding our first two reptiles of the trip, one non-venomous snake and one venomous, but also poisonous snake. How cool was that? I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Man, great find, Mario. Of all the snake species we have featured on the Brave Wilderness channel, from the non-venomous to the venomous, the tiger keelback is without a doubt a true anomaly. Its visual similarity to the garter snake makes it appear completely non-threatening. And while they are noticeably docile, the fact that they are both venomous and poisonous makes them incredibly toxic. Envenomation is rare due to the snake's calm demeanor and tendency to ward off predators with its threatening display. However, anti-venom does exist if a bite were to occur. That being said, I cannot stress enough how important it is to never handle or interact with snakes unless you are 100% certain it is a non-toxic species. And like I always say, when in doubt, the best interactions can always be had by simply admiring the animal from a safe distance. If you missed our first snake encounter from Japan, make sure to go back and watch as I dive head first into catching the four-lined rat snake. And don't forget, subscribe, then click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure.